Hello everyone, my name is Long Nguyen. Today I'm going to talk about a short introduction to Bayesian statistics. So, why is Bayesian statistics? Bayesian statistics is extremely effective in real-life problems. Since Bayesian statistics deal with beliefs, it can help us update our beliefs as new data comes in. It has a lot of applications in quantitative finance, economics, medicine, and other social science. In finance, quantitative traders make heavy use of Bayesian uh, inference, an application of Bayesian statistics with time series analysis to predict future values. What is Bayesian statistics? As stated above, Bayesian statistics is one of many approaches to probability. Bayesian statistics consider probability as a measure of believability or confidence that, a, that an individual may possess about the occurrence of a particular event. We may have a prior belief about an event, but our beliefs are likely to change when new evidence is brought up. Bayesian statistics gives us a solid mathematical means of incorporating our beliefs and evidence to produce new material beliefs, which assumes that probabilities are the frequency of particular random events occurring in the long run of repeated trials. For example, uh, as we roll a fair unweighted six side die repeatedly, we would see that each number on the die tend to come up one sick of the time. Let's think about an intuitive example. Annie and Bobby have known each other for a while, and each of them doesn't know the other personal opinions on him or her. Someday, Bobby wants to add any out for a date. Frequently, st statistics st might argue that Bobby will have 50% chance of winning the date. But on the other hand, Bayesian statistics, however, consider the chance depend on if any is rational or not. If any doesn't like Bobby very much and being rational here, then Bobby would likely have 0% chance. Let's take a closer look at the difference between frequency statistic and Bayesian statistic by these two example. So what is the probability of an unfair coin coming up heads? And what is the probability for an for a candidate to win an election? And assume this candidate never run for any election. About the unfair coin flip um, on frequencies approach the probability of seeing a head when the unfair coin is flipped is a long run relative frequency of seeing a head when repeated flips of the coin are carried out. As we carry out more coin flips, the number of heads obtained as a proportion of the total flips tend to be the true or physical probability of the coin coming up as heads. In particular, the individual running the experiment does not incorporate his or her own beliefs about the fairness of other coins. On the other hand, on the Bayesian approach side, prior to any flip of the coin, a person may believe that the coin is fair. After a few flips, the coin continually comes up heads. Thus, the prior belief about fairness of the coin is modified to account for the fact that for instance, three heads have come up in a row and thus the, the coin might not be fair. After 500 flips with 400 heads, the person believes that the coin is very unlikely to be fair. The posterior belief is heavily modified from the prior belief of an unfair coin. About the election example on the frequencies approach side, the candidate only ever stand once for his particular election, so we cannot perform repeated trials here. In a frequentist point of view, we construct virtual trial of the election process. The probability of the candidate winning is defined as the relative frequency of the candidate winning in the virtual trials at a fraction of all trials. On the other hand, on the Bayesian approach side, a person has a prior belief of a candidate chance of winning an election and that person confident 
can be quantified as a probability. However, another person could also have a different prior belief about the same candidate chances. As new data comes, both beliefs are rationally updated by the Bayesian procedure. As some of you might have heard or known about the famous Bayes rule, actually, Bayes rule can be obtained from conditional probability formula, and uh, here's uh, the process of obtaining Bayes rule is very easy. The whole process would take about five lines. So, but actually, uh, remember here, the probability of A intersect B equals the uh, probability of B intersect A. That's the only thing I want to remind you. Now we can use Bayes rule to demonstrate a concrete numerical example of Bayesian statistics. There are two important concepts, parameters and models. A parameter could be the weighting of an unfair coin, which is labeled as theta. Thus, theta equal P of H would describe the probability distribution of our beliefs that the car will come up at heads when flipped. The model is the actual means of encoding this flip mathematically. For example, the coin flip can be modeled as a Bernoulli child. It's also very important to know about base rule for Bayesian inference. Bayesian inference can be written as P of theta given D equal P of D given theta times P of theta over P D. P of theta is a prior. This is the strength of our belief of theta without considering the evident D. Our prior view on the probability of how fair the coin is. P of theta given D is a posterior. This is a trend of our belief of theta once the evident D has been taken into account. For example, after seeing four heads out of eight flips, say, this is our, this is our updated view on the fairness of the coin. P of D given theta is the likelihood. This is the probability of seeing the data D is generated by a model with parameter theta. For example, if we knew the coin was fair, this tells us the probability of seeing a number of heads in a particular number of flips. P of D is the added evidence. This is the probability of the data as determined by summing or integrating across all possible value of theta, weighted by how strongly we believe in those particular values of theta. For example, if we had multiple views of what the fairness of the coin is, but didn't know for sure, then it tells us the probability of seeing a certain sequence of flips of all poss possibility of our belief in the coin fairness. I would like to demonstrate Bayesian inference by a coin flipping example. In this example, we are going to consider multiple coin flips of a coin with unknown fairness. We will use Bayesian inference to update our beliefs on the fairness of the coin as more data or more flips become available. The coin will actually be fair, but we won't learn it until the trial are carried out. Initially, we have no prior belief on the fairness of the coin. That is, we can say at any level of fairness is equally likely. We are going to perform n repeated Bernoulli trial with theta equal 0 0.5. We are going to use a, an uniform distribution as a mean of char characterizing our prior belief that we unsure about the fairness. This states that we consider each level of fairness or each value of theta to be equally likely. In the following figure, we can see six particular points at which we have carried out a number of Bernoulli trials or coin flips. In the first graph, we have had no trials, and hence our probability density function or prior density in this case is uniform distribution. It states that we have equal beliefs in our values of theta representing the fairness of the coin. The next chart shows two trial done. 
and they are both heads. As we can see, how the weight of the density is now shifted to the right side of the chart. This tells us that our prior belief of equal likelihood of pennies of coin coupled with two new data points leads us to believe that the coin is more likely to be unfair or biased toward heads than tail. In the next two charts, 10 and 20 trials are done respectively. Although we have seen two tails in 10 trials, we still believe that the coin is likely to be unfair and biased toward heads. After 20 trials, we have seen few more tails. The density of the probability has now shifted closer to theta equal p of h equal 0.5. Thus, we are now about to believe that it's possible that the coin is fair. After 50 and 500 trial, we now believe that the finite of the coin is very likely or theta equal 0.5. The width of the probability density is now staying around theta equal 0.46 in the large chart. If we keep doing more trial, it's very likely that theta approximately 0.5 does as we can see, Bayesian inference gives us a rational procedure to go from an uncertain situation with limited information to a more certain situation with good amounts of data. In conclusion, in Bayesian statistics, the interpretation of probability is a summary of opinions. A key point is that Different person can have different opinions or different prior beliefs since they have different ways of assessing the, the data and a way of interpreting it. However, as they come across new data that they both have access to, their different prior beliefs will lead to posterior beliefs that will begin converging toward each other under the rational updating procedure of Bayesian inference.